Okay, so um, this is a video about direct democracy. So before we start, we need to know what exactly is direct democracy. So direct democracy, according to our notes, is a system of government in which public decisions are made directly by citizens meeting together in assembly or voting by ballot. So to put it in simpler terms, or in my words, is that everyone gets to vote um, despite their race, gender, um, social status, and all of that. So yeah, uh, so in this case, the benefits of having direct democracy is that anyone can vote and that everyone's equal. Um, so they all get a say in making decisions while you know other systems such as monarchy where one person gets to have more power, you, you know, the citizen's like, what? Well, how come? How come he gets to make the decisions and that stuff? So yeah. Um, also, uh, one thing, another good thing about uh, dem direct democracy is that no matter who wins or who loses, there's always support for them. So, um, like taking the presidential debate for an example, uh, though Trump won, yeah, he has supporters, and so does Hillary. Hillary, even though she lost, she still had supporters. So, something along those lines. Um, but one bad thing about direct democracy is that it just takes too long um, because there's so many citizens to account for. It just takes forever to count the polls and stuff, so you might as well just be sleeping while you're waiting. Um, so to sum things up, uh, here's an example. So um, let's say three classmates, Ken, Michael, and Amy, were walking home from school, and they got hungry, and they wanted to go to their favorite bakery for their after-school snack. Now, on this particular day, uh, Ken wanted to eat something other than chocolate cake. He wanted to eat macarons, but the thing is, they couldn't all buy macarons and chocolate cake. They had to choose between macarons and chocolate cake. Um, so what they decided to do is that they decided to take a vote. However, Ken's reputation at school isn't exactly the best reputation. He's a gangster, and Michael happens to be an honor student, so they were wondering whether or not their vote can have more significance or not. Um, but of course, Amy said no and said that everyone is equal, no matter what kind of social status they had. And so each person's vote only gets to equal to one vote. So the three of them decide to take the vote and they had to choose between uh, macarons or chocolate cake. And so in the end, when they voted, uh, Ken voted for macarons, Macaro, uh, Michael voted for macarons, and Amy voted for chocolate cake. So the result is that Amy didn't get to eat their cake, and all three of them decided to pitch in their money for macarons. And in the end, after eating their macarons, they all went home and did homework, which isn't very happy, but whatever, the end.